I was the fellow who, we, who installed the Cisco 7000 at uh, PLDT's data center. Had to go in for training at uh, Cisco. Uh, and one of the little benefits that we had, they issued me um, all the tools necessary to be able to access Cisco online. I was given a little booklet and in it were a series of telephone numbers to dial um, which would allow me to access Cisco's internal email setup. It was X25 based. Um, while playing around with the X25 uh, bridge, there were a series of commands I found. I found out that um, it would allow me to access a public internet gateway. So back, that was what, 92, 93? I already had live internet access from my bedroom. If I had to download software from Cisco, uh, the best time was dinner. Because uh, by the time you woke up in the morning, the following day was done. It was it was a bit nerve-wracking given that uh, there was a deadline. It was photo finish. Equipment was delivered. Literally, it was in the office the day before. Uh, the only thing left to do was to get the darn thing out of the box, bring it over to PLDT, install it, and pray everything works. When I got there, there was just uh, one technician uh, handling graveyard, so uh, he helped, uh, helped me mount it into a rack. Plug in, power up, lights on, what on the terminal screen. Everything worked okay. Come the morning, I gave a call to the uh, residents of uh, Dr. Rodolfo Villarica. I just told him, okay, doc, uh, it's done. The euphoria, the blah, blah about this just came later on. As far as I was concerned, it was just another job. Kaya, I didn't see the point in bragging about it. As someone who also had experienced internet access when he was taking up his um, PhD in the States, what he kind of impressed on me was there's this world of information that's available online. You didn't have to fly abroad for it. You didn't have to beg, borrow, and, or steal a book for it. It was there. All of a sudden, barriers for you know, geographic barriers were gone when uh, the web came up and HTTP came up yeah, and Netscape and all that and browsers. Uh, that was when the floodgates opened up. Uh, the browser, the browser changed it all. Just to think that just because of that graphical user interface, it gave it a friendlier face to the internet. 25 years into it, I have not forgotten that hope that with internet access, um, someone out there, a student or whoever, uh, could use what information is available to improve their lives. There's got to be more to it than just posting pictures and selfies. I hope, I pretty much hope and pray that um, that the net for all for all the possibilities that it provides a person, that it improves their life somehow, some way, in a true meaningful manner.